Uh, hey everyone, um, are you an Android developer that is wondering which laptop to get uh, between for Android development? Um, professionally, I'm an Android developer, and in this video, I compare two laptops, a MacBook Air M1, which is on the right, which has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a ThinkPad T14 running a Ryzen 4750 chip um, that's on the Manjaro operating system. Um, I think deciding between these two laptops is something I've thought a lot about in, earlier last year, um, and I finally now have my hands at both in order to do some real-world testing. So, um, in order to do this comparison, I looked on GitHub for a repository that's fairly large, um, and the project I chose is Meso Health. Um, it's a project that's now open source that I've worked on for, you know, three to four years in the past, and it's an Android app that helps with healthcare management in clinics in East Africa. Um, it is offline first, and it's mainly Kotlin, and it's a fairly large code base. Um, and there are multiple modules, like uh, I'm going to show you here. So there's the app module, there's the device module, um, and there's the domain module. So it's a fairly large project. Uh, there's a bunch of dependencies, as you can see over here in the build.grido file. Um, here's like the different flavors that we have, but more importantly, here's all those dependencies. All right, so the first test that we're going to do is let's just see how long it takes to build the original thing. So um, I'm going to go on both laptops and I'm going to click build at the exact same time. So let's do that. Um, now, I think this is not the best comparison between the two computers because part of it is also having to do with network issues. Um, but I'm just going to have this data point in case you're, that this is important. Both these laptops are on the same internet, um, and my internet's not that great. It's probably like 25 megabytes per second, so um, keep that as a reference point. Um, but yeah, both are going to you know, get the dependencies and download. So let's just see. On the left, we see that the ThinkPad... Um, finished in a minute and on the right side it's still going so um, yeah I'm actually gonna speed it up a little bit more and wait for the MacBook Air to finish all right there we go so it took two minutes 48 seconds on the MacBook Air Again, I don't think that's the great par greatest comparison. Let's click again. And again, I didn't change any code, so both should be relatively fast. So one minute, sorry, one second on the left and uh, two seconds on the right. So very comparable so far. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is let's see what the speeds are when we make changes to a file. So I'm going to go into some activity and um, add a new variable. So let's just add <clears throat> some variables to the photo activity and then let's go into the XML file. Just here's a sense of like how long it takes to load the preview screen. And I'm going to add, um, let's just do a text view with, yeah, just some, some stuff here. And I think I got a yeah, let's just ignore con constraints. I don't really care about that right now. And I'm going to do the same thing on Mac. So um, here we go. So Apple shift O for looking up a file. And then, yeah, photo activity. I'm going to, yeah, go in here, add a new variable, and save it. And then I'm going to open a new, open an XML file and add the text view again. So, um, Let's see, that's how long it takes for the preview to, to work. Slightly longer. Um, if I click on the code, um, let's see how smooth this is. Okay, the autocomplete is slightly slower. Um, it's kind of noticeable, but it's not like that much slower. Um, cool, I'm gonna import. 
All right, so let's see. Now that we've made some edits to both XML and like a Kotlin file, let's see how long it takes to uh, um, build the thing. So uh, yeah. Actually, I think I test out this splitting first. Okay, I guess it's pretty fast once you've already loaded it once and design. Yeah, pretty much the same speed. Okay, cool. So let's build this at the same time and let's see how long it takes. Okay, there we go. So on the left, on the ThinkPad, nine seconds, 9.38 seconds. And on the Mac, it's 17 seconds. So it's about almost twice as long uh, for the same code change. Um, since that's just one data point, let's actually try again. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make the, the a very similar code change. Just added a new variable there. And then I'm going to do the same for the T14 AMD laptop. Okay. And here we go again. So it took eight seconds, 8.9 seconds on the AMD T14. It took 12 seconds this time on the MacBook Air. Okay. And just to give you a third data point, let's do the same thing again. So change variable on the right, change variable on the left. Okay, so seven seconds, 7.6 seconds on the T14 and 11.5 seconds on the MacBook Air. All right, so let's try something different now. Um, let's actually clean the project and rebuild it. So um, what this does is it gets rid of all the Kotlin compiled code and basically forces you to start from scratch. So on the left, I'm going to click on both sides, actually, I'm going to click clean project. Let's just see how long that takes on its own. Fairly the same speed. Um, and now let's click build. So I expect both of these to take longer than the last few attempts because um, they has to rebuild the entire thing. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and yeah, I'll show you when this finishes. Okay, cool. So on the T14, it took 29 seconds. Okay. And on the Mac, it's still going. Uh, let's see, I believe, okay, there we go. It takes 50 seconds, as you can see there. Um, cool, so that's one data point. Um, let's actually do the same thing again. Uh, just so you all can see that this is like reproducible and not just like by chance. So I'm actually going to click rebuild project this time, which does both. Okay, this is speed up 8x, by the way. All right, 57 seconds on the left, 1 minute 18 on the, on the right. Um, yeah, that's the longest if it's taken T14. Um, so let's actually try this again, because that was um, maybe an anomaly, perhaps. Okay, again, this is fast forwarded. Okay, so 27 seconds for the 
T14, 42 seconds from the max. So I'm going to try this one more time. Twenty-seven seconds for the T fourteen and thirty-six seconds for the Mac. So that that's actually the fastest run for the MacBook Air. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let me. This is the last time I'm going to do this. So let's rebuild one more time, just to give you all sense of what the build times are. All right, so T14, 27 seconds. MacBook Air, 38 seconds. Awesome. So um, I hope you all found this video useful. Um, I think it's very important for me to show like what a real workflow looks like. And um, hopefully this gives you guys um, a sense of, yeah, what, what exactly is fast, what exactly is slow. And um, I think it's up for you to decide. Honestly, I think both of these laptops have their pros and cons. And um, I'm honestly happy developing on either one. So um, yeah, and as usual, please subscribe. And if you have any more videos that you like me for me to make or yeah, any content or any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.